it was funny because we got to the hotel and I'm like, what the fuck? This looks, why? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like deja vu. Why is this so familiar? But when we flew out to Optic like three or four years ago, it was the same hotel, went to that same Ascension's coffee spot. And I forgot because they put us both in our separate rooms and you laid in bed all fucking day because you had strep throat. Oh, that was a nightmare, dude. We were in two fucking nice ass hotels. In a nice, in like, uh, we didn't even see there's a club, Concrete Cowboy, literally right next to the coffee shop. Damn. But, uh, like, we'll get to that part, I guess. But yeah, yeah I mean, that, the trip was fun. That area is fucking nice. It's dude. sick. Frisco. So you guys traveled there on Saturday, right? I yep, think. Yep. Traveled there on Saturday. And then who all went? Me, Danny, and Elena. Danny, and Elena. And your dad? Oh, yeah. My dad went, Daniel, and Alana went too. Yeah. And they're in the same hotel? Uh, they were in the same hotel across the street yeah damn that's sweet dude it was fun 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 because the game was on sunday the game was on sunday big big game fuck cowboys lost cardinals won though so it's kind of like a win-win for me how was it watching because did you guys just watch in the box up, up up top yeah it was nice it was nice it was fucking sweet well at halftime we went up to team the tap man suite and fucking dude's so cool like he's just a cool dude you know what he, I mean? so he's got a, like a season suite there or what He's just a giant Cowboys fan. Team complexity, the team we're on for gaming, is directly correlated with Cowboys. The Cowboys own complexity. So he's, you know, he's signed with complexity. The Baca bros who were, like, just insane at Call of Duty. Biffle, he's 19. And he's just, he's, like, the best Warzone player. Quiet. He was in the box, too? He was, they, we all had our own suites, but we all hung out after and before. Shot content and stuff is fun. Damn. The Baca cool. Bros. Did you guys go uh you gotta see their 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 gaming facility? Complexity as it's right across the street. You walk there from the hotel. It's so sick, dude. And I can go there. We could go there anytime we want. There's probably over twenty different setups we could play on. We could bring the boys there, have tournaments. That's crazy. It's, cr- it's insane, dude. So right by that practice field, that's where it- Right there. R- literally right across the street. So does that wh- where those boys go to they all, we all kind of just got signed similarly this timing. So they don't live there. That was the first time they saw that place, too. Oh. But uh, I think they're going to try to buy a house out there. Damn. Baca bros. Met Symphony. Like, there's a bunch of fucking pro gamers. It was, it was fucking fun, dude. But Sunday, after the game, we met up, went to dinner, and then it was, like, pretty late. And uh, we decided to go to Concrete Cowboy, which is right across the street, too, that whole little area. There was legit. I mean, it was a club. It was a Sunday. It was Sunday night. It was empty. It was not fucking packed. It was very empty. There was legit less than ten girls there, in I on like seven of them. If there was ten, let's say seven of them were good workers. There was probably like 40, 50, 60 guys in there. Sick little table though. It cool was sweet. Car. Yeah, it was fun hanging out with the boys, talking games, talking game shit. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Did they, did they talk about their? Uh... Damn, we should have got one of those guys on the pod today. Talk about their routines and their their scheduling for gaming. Yeah, I mean they're they're all a little bit different. I think the Baca Bros play together quite a bit. They all live in different places. Um, Biffle's nineteen, Lucky was twenty one, Hector's twenty five. Um, but yeah, they got they inter- interesting stories too. Would be we should definitely get them on the pod. Yeah, because Daniel was telling me he said some of those guys game. 10 to 12 hours a day. Yeah, it's a full-time job. But they're having, like, I mean, they got 30,000 subscribers. Yeah. Which is fucking insane. Ooh. Like, Team of Tapman go live on YouTube, have around, sit around 30,000 viewers a day. Dang. Does he, I wonder if he goes 10-hour sessions. He does stuff, yeah, stuff like that. He uploads every day on YouTube. <laughs> That's fucking badass. Yeah, it's funny. It learned a lot from those guys. Learned Dude, I fuck bet. Ton. It, was a very, it was a very sweet trip. Like, what kind of stuff, though? Just, just, I mean, it just was motivating being around them, hearing the numbers they're talking about, and like them, they're they love streaming. Mm-hmm. Like they get fired up, made me fired. I came and streamed yesterday, just chatting because obviously I can't game still, but just, just little things here and there. But uh, they made you want to up the hustle for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Damn, that's fucking sweet. New year, fucking new us, dude. Yeah. Oh! What's up, Sugar Squad? If you like this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click down below to check out the full episode and subscribe to be a part of the journey.